Hi. What I'd like to do is show you this game that just occurred uh, about 44 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago. The tournament is just completed and so here's this game. I think this is quite an instructive game so that's why I bring it to you. It involves a wee bit of a puzzle at the end so I hope I remember to show you that. Okay so here we go let's go. I've learnt to play my bishop to e2, not d3, because quite often my opponent will play d6 and e5, and all of a sudden I have to watch out for forks on e4 with pawns, and they're not very pleasant, so here we go. Mm. Yes, c4. Now, notice a4 here, okay, I play a4, and I play it for no particular reason whatsoever. My score with this opponent, um, which does actually show, I thought it doesn't show, but it does, is 2-0 now. So here I just am looking at the square here, e4. Okay, so I want to have some sort of like influence on that square. But black has other ideas. So here's 95. And so everyone can find bishop a3. Uh, this just prevents sort of bishop b5 and uh, knight d3 sort of thing. But black still plays bishop b5, but rook f1. So it's the start of the sort of position that I want to show you from here uh, the interesting part of this game is that one I have this nice position for a rook two this knight is being pinned by the bishop on a3 sort of thing not necessarily but this is an important square f8 um, black would probably be okay to play moves like c5 uh, but the thing is, is that I am just wanting to play Queen G4 and Rook F6. Uh, this is very difficult for Black to make. Sort of other, those kind of ideas, okay? So I'll just make sure my mouse doesn't run around the, the board too much. Here's Queen E7. So it's Black's move, of course. So here's Queen G4. Now this just uh, really basic... Uh, now, rook f8 is not really possible because rook f8, queen f8, and queen e6 scoring a pawn. Notice I played b3 before to, to keep these pawns sort of adjacent to each other, but also protected as well. So that there's no squares for uh, the black knight to hop into on d5 if black so wishes h5 so here's a point of interest that i have to think what do i do now what do i do now what do you think i should do now uh i play queen g3 and of course black plays rook f8 okay uh rook f8 queen f8 now do i play queen f4 now or what do i do what would you do so this is one of the situations in the game um, that I uh, sort of have to think about, like a puzzle, what do I do next? So it's a bit odd, really. This move is a bit odd because I'm actually uh, helping Black a little bit by uh, untangling their e6 d5 pawn so i play cd5 and of course no problem with knight d5 i could do a pre-move although i'm finding pre-moves are not working for me for some reason because they're always bad no but pre-moves aren't working because sometimes the computer's thinking uh or the the engine is thinking i'm actually moving that pawn or queen like I moved uh, queen d8 to e7 in one game. 
and but then I thought no I'll change I'll stop that I won't I don't want to play it so I I sort of touched b8 instead so my queen next move went to b8 luckily it wasn't fatal but it was almost so here I'm actually uh, with cd5 I'm actually creating a pass pawn because my pawns to be fair are tangled up a little bit too aren't they so after ed5 I play e6 so this just causes some tension in black's camp I think that's what I think but um, and I'm also threatening of course just queen c7 check and so this is causing some tension in black's camp but my opponent now plays queen e7 so I now play bishop b4 so this is of course cannot be captured with the queen on b4 because queen c7 and then after that move I'll look what to do next although it's not entirely great actually queen b4 might be quite good because if I go queen c7 and forget things then I might get um, checkmated on e1 square with queen e1 so uh, that might be a better move but queen uh, a b4 happened which retains black's pawns equal to whites so here comes centralization queen e5 and c6 oh bother now what now we've got what i actually do like a, a queen and pawn in game but what am I going to do next? How am I going to get my fine opponent? How am I going to get my opponent? I might have to wait. I might have to wait. So what happens is I play h3. So this is also uh, so that there's no ever, there's no ever queen e1 checkmate. Ouch! Because I've got my king luft on h2 to go to. So, um here comes h3 i've played h3 and this is a wee bit sort of like a wee bit kind of like a waiting move as well to see what black does next so it's not long till um, black plays king h6 so what's the sort of move you're going to play there for white what sort of move would you play for white after king h6 i'll show you after black plays king h6 what sort of move are you going to play next uh, it's a sort of a setting my opponent a trap it's not something that my opponent has to react to so that's a big clue my next move was and it's coming up is h4 okay king h6 h4 this threatens among other things it threatens queen g5 check okay and hg5 check and e7 e8 queen yay the major e8 square so it sacrifices a pawn to get another queen so it threatens that it also threatens queen h8 check okay and Queen h7 only move, Queen h7, King h7, that square h7, e7, and as you would appreciate, the king is outside of the Nigel Grandmaster, Super Grandmaster Nigel Schwartz box uh, because it's too far away. If it was on g7, the king, then it could just sidestep to f7 and collect the pawn on e7 or e8 wherever I put it. So. Here is uh, a clean up of the position and now I'm going to ask you what do you do after Queen H4 for white? Because all of a sudden we've got that annoying Queen E1 to H4 to E1 all over again. Okay, what do we do? Very simple. If you've been looking at puzzles, it's pretty simple to see. So after queen h4, we have a wee little tangle for black. Okay, and it starts with 
a chick. It might even be that chick. Uh, but if I do the wrong chick here, then I lose. I lose a pawn. How do I do that? If after queen h4 I go queen f4 check, bad mistake. Because then black um, plays queen f4, e f4, king g7, and after e7, king f7, <laughs> like Pac-Man. So, um, so the the after queen h4 we have just the simple uh deflection queen h8 if that's the right word queen h8 check king g5 and everyone can find the last move but here it is anyway queen g8 check and my opponent resigned because now upon capture of the queen white ends up a queen up okay and so then it's mop up so all the best with your chest no matter where it's at thank you very much for watching and it's david wegener over and out and i've got my video cards coming up that's still recording okay i'm still recording uh i've pushed the button but it's not recognizing me on that screen so i have to